TCP data engineering. In this video, we will see how we can programmatically publish message to PubSub topic and also how we can receive those messages using subscription right programmatically right so in this demo we will use python client libraries okay so in this demo i would like to use virtual machines which are available in the google cloud platform that is called google compute engines i would have used cloud shell but i would like to do it differently so in this demo so first what we'll do we'll create a virtual machine we'll call it as a publisher okay and then we will deploy our publisher python program or script into this virtual machine right so before deploying this application we need to perform certain tasks where we'll have to install dependencies right so which are not available by default python is available in in, in any virtual machine on the google cloud platform it is pre-installed but if you have to use other python client libraries like especially we are using pubsub api right so we need to install pubsub a python api before going further right and also if there are any other dependencies which are not being installed into virtual machine we'll have to do that okay so we'll update the vm and then we'll install the pubsub api and then we'll deploy our publisher python code into this virtual machine okay in the same way we will also create one more virtual machine we'll call it as a subscriber so we'll perform same task like we will install the dependencies we will also install pubsub api right and also we will deploy our uh, our script or app that is subscriber api sorry script okay so once we have that anyway we need to create pubsub topic but in this demo i have already created a topic and then we'll need we'll have to create subscription as well the topic right so by using this topic and subscription we are going to publish message from publisher app which is available in the publisher virtual machine and then we'll receive those messages using this subscription right so we'll also run this subscriber app or script so that we can see these messages which are published to the top through this subscription so this is a simple demo instead of using cloud shell so i would like to use gces google cloud compute engines or virtual machines okay now let's go to the demo slide okay here we are using pubsub api right so first we'll what we'll do as i already discussed in my previous slide we are going to create this virtual machine we are calling it as a publisher in where we are using python client libraries so we'll publish those messages to the pubsub topic and then uh, we will create one more compute engine and there we install our subscriber app or python script uh, and we have a subscription already available in the pubsub topic then we'll we'll receive those messages using that subscription right now let us quickly move to the demo sub so, uh, console okay so you can see there is one there are two topics but i i will use this topic receive data okay and uh, i've also created a subscri subscription for this topic just click on subscription okay now you can see all the top subscription listed over here this is the subscription which we are going to use as part of our demo that is receive data sub okay this is the topic receive data now let us go to the virtual machine environment and we'll create virtual machine one by one and we'll also try to install all the dependencies which are required for this demo okay so go go to compute engine okay now I have one one compute engine already available which is related to our notebook. Let me create a new instance. Okay. Okay, let us create this virtual machine our nearest region that is Asia South Delhi. Okay. 
so we call it as a publisher okay now select the series of vm so i would like to do a uh, in detail demo on these virtual machines but for the, our demo purpose i'm just going going like through important steps whichever are required for this demo okay so select this simplest vm that is n1 series so it has n1 this is this belongs to n1 standard series and it has one cpu and 3.75 ram right so now go to this identity and api access so anyway it's using default compute engine service account i don't want to use any special service account so let us use the default compute engine service account and also here access course because this vm has to access pubsub topic and subscription that means pubsub api now we need to enable that api for this vm for that just click on this set api access you can see the default settings for most of the other google cloud apis it is none so now let me enable this for our pubsub top pubsub api right enable right that's it just leave remaining option as it is and click on create okay now this should create that vm okay so okay it will take some time vm already created click on ssh we would like to connect to this vm using this ssh option okay click on ssh so meanwhile we will create our subscriber vm and asia south to delhi change this name to subscriber select the series n1 again same configuration 3.75 gb 1 me cpu okay then it again uses default serv compute engine service account enable it for pubsub api to access pubsub api okay now click on create this should create our subscriber vm instance now we are in our publisher vm instance okay now i would like to perform our install dependencies right so for that i have already uh, have some commands i would like to run one by one or execute one by one okay so these are those commands first of all you need to update the vm with the latest updates okay so okay now it is up to date the second thing you need to install we have this python api python is already pre installed but pip is not installed pip is used to install python libraries right so now if you click on python something like this right so we have python 3 installed right so that's why you need to install pip for python 3 okay so pip is not there if you just try to see the version if it is already installed this pip is not there you will have to install it okay so that this is the command which we will use pip for python 3 right so the same steps will repeat on even subscriber vm instance that might have been already created you can see subscriber vm instance has been already created so let us complete these steps and later we'll perform same steps in subscriber vm instance also okay so it will take some time to install pip3 okay now pip3 is installed let me install our pubsub libraries okay yeah now we have our pubsub libraries so what i would like to do now let me deploy my publisher app or publisher python script into this vm for that what we can do simple 
simply you can just use vi editor to copy paste our code which has already written right. publisher.py right now let me copy this code which is already available so let me go through this code okay this is a simple code where it uses this pubsub api python api so it just create this publisher client and then what we are trying to do so using this for loop we are trying to create messages using this random numbers right what we'll do so it will print or it will create a message like this with this text message number and then uh, the number appended right with space using this range function this will in for loop it will create 10 numbers random numbers 1 to 9 or 1 right so then uh, the message would look like this so when we try to run this program you can see that message number 1 message number 2 something like that right and also we are using some sleep time just to see those messages and then we are publishing those messages to this pubsub topic right this is our project this is our pubsub topic which has been already created okay now this will just publish all these messages one by one into this topic okay so let me copy this code and paste over here just save this now i have my pub publisher app or publisher script already available when i run this script then this should publish messages into the specified topic in the program okay in the same way now let us go to our subscriber vm and we'll do we'll repeat the same steps yeah now let us try to run the same commands first of all update the vm then install pip for python 3 yeah now you can see this uh, pip has been installed now let us try to install our pubsub client libraries yeah now that has been installed now let me deploy our subscriber app okay let us use again vi editor okay now let us go to that code now so this is the code again it is the same thing it it is using again subscriber client from this module pubsub v1 so what it is using it is using again this, this is a project name and this is our subscription which is already been created okay it's trying to use that subscription so it will try to read or receive those messages using this subscription okay so so our message will be in json format scriber object so in the try block we are trying to call that okay so that object right at result we are trying to print result right so here we are using subscriber object okay we are calling this function which would right uh, you receive the message and on, uh, as well it will try to send acknowledgement to the pops up right using this particular method right we are trying to call this over here right simple program so you can just i mean it is already available in official google documentation so you can go through that okay now let us try to deploy this or copy this program and paste over there okay now we have our subscriber program in publisher we'll have our pub publisher program now let me try to run this script so that it will publish messages to the topic it will also print see this is the message this is a message id message number right by default it will be printed like this okay now let us try to run our subscript subscriber program there would be five min five second waiting period you can see all the messages coming in json from format so this is a 
uh, output text which is being mentioned here received message something and then message is in json format you can see message number 6 so those are random numbers right need not be in sequence you can see random num numbers getting generated between 1 to 10 right you can see all the message received at, at the subscriber this is how PubSub will be useful right where two different application talk to each other right okay so that's it for this video thank you thank you very much for watching this video